Candace Owens was reminded by the people who pay her that now's the time for her to come out and say terrible things against black people. And that's exactly what she did in reference to George Floyd. Uh, this video was just so like, it was just so disgusting and I hated that I needed to watch it. Um, and I hate that I'm sharing part of it with you now, but I think it's important to understand uh, how easily people can be corrupted into saying this type of disgusting nonsense. So go ahead and watch. I um, want to come out and say uh, that I do not support George Floyd and the media depiction of him as a martyr for Black America. Shelby Steele said that the Black community is unique from other communities. Um, our, our culture is unique from other communities um, because we are the only community that caters to the bottom denominator of our society. Now let me explain what that means. Um, it means to say that not every black American is a criminal, not every black American is committing crimes, but we are unique in that we are the only people that fight and scream and demand support and justice for the people in our community that are up to no good. You would be hard pressed to find um, you know, a Jewish person who has spent five stints in prison, uh, who commits a crime and dies while committing a crime, and that the Jewish people champion and demand justice for. You will be hard pressed to find this in white America. You'll be hard pressed to find this even in Latino America. Um, I'm actually not hard pressed at all. Uh, George Zimmerman was made to be a hero because he murdered a 17 year old, a teenager. Um, Donald Trump is celebrated by white Americans every single day, and he is literally a criminal. He's defrauded students. He's broken, um, you know, he's he used the office of the presidency to enrich himself, which is a violation of the Constitution's emoluments clause. I mean, this guy is a criminal, an incompetent one at that through and through, and he gets celebrated all the time by white Americans. So what is she talking about? It's absolute nonsense. And what we're talking about here right now, we're not celebrating criminality, okay? We're, what protesters are asking for right now, and it's a very, it should be a simple ask. Stop murdering people. Cops should not be uh, the, the jury, the judge, and the executioner. We should not be supporting extrajudicial murder, killings out on the streets which is what she's helping to support right now. Garbage, she's just garbage. I can't stand this woman. Yeah, so uh, to me, the more interesting thing is the phenomenon of what right-wing uh, wealthy uh, patrons are willing to support and, and want to support. It's not just that they get uh, a black person to attack other black people. And, and and this is done not just in the case of African Americans, but across all the different ethnicities. So um, if you see a person on Fox News who's Muslim, they're almost definitely going to attack other Muslims. Uh, and so it's true of Latinos, it's true of women that they bring on, uh, but it goes further than that. And this is a great example of it. It's not just that blacks and Muslims and, and, and women, et cetera, are all wrong. It's that they are uniquely wrong. So they bring on Muslims to say that Muslim culture is unique, the Muslim religion is unique, and, and they'll bring on atheists to say, oh, no, none of the religions are true, but Islam is the worst of the worst. Why? Because the idea is Islam is irredeemable. It is uniquely bad. Why? It gives you a reason to hate those people and justify your hatred. It gives you a reason to oppress them, to occupy them, et cetera. In the case of African Americans, if you notice, what she just said was that blacks are unique in this. They're the only people who defend so-called criminals in their midst. But all the other people are wonderful. Whites are wonderful, Jews are wonderful, maybe, maybe even Latinos, okay? That and part was amazing, by the way. Like, you know, even Latinos kind of maybe. I, I hate them. I think they're terrible, but that you know part was that just was like, that was that was her going, I forgot if boss man told me to hate Latinos too. I know I mean, my main job here is to say blacks are uniquely bad, right? So boss man, I don't. I know you hate Latinos too, but do I put that in this or you need, or you get the Latina to say that. Okay, no problem. No problem, boss man. Okay. And so I, I, I don't care if anybody's going to pretend to get their feelings hurt about it. What we say about Candace Owens, I will laugh and laugh and laugh. Okay, she definitely has a boss man. It's the person who signs her checks. 
and they pay her to attack her own. That's that's her that's her whole point. She wasn't even a conservative before. She switched as soon as she started getting the checks, and all of a sudden, she's like, oh, "Black people suck. They're all criminals, and they defend criminals." So look, just real quick, I, I, we don't even need to get into it, but I'll do it real super quick. George Floyd, at worst, maybe might have had a counterfeit $20 bill. That was enough reason for execution, so we shouldn't defend uh, him being uh, defend him from the people who murdered him. I mean, it's and and to Anna's point, I mean, when the minute she said white people don't defend their own criminals, I was screaming Trump, Trump. I mean, I can go literally take you a half an hour. Uh, through all the different crimes that he broke. I've gone over the five clear crimes a thousand times. And and every time he does one of those crimes, 40% uh, of the white folks in this country jump up, actually a little bit larger than that, and go, no, he's a great criminal. He's our criminal. He's so awesome. I love the way he breaks crime. He breaks the laws. A law and order. What? Okay. Uh, and even today, Donald Trump, clearly implied in a tweet that he was going to pardon Roger Stone, a convicted criminal, that he was going to mm. quite literally bust them out of jail. Okay. Mm. White people don't support their own criminals. I mean, what a hilarious joke Candace Owens is. Look, Candace, I, I hope the house is big enough. I hope the, 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 I don't know that you got enough for a yacht, but whatever you got a like a little dinghy, whatever it is, I hope it's big enough. And I hope you're comfortable enough. And I hope you got a nice car out of it, because you're going to live in eternal shame. You're the you, you're the person who got paid to betray your own. Good luck with that. Um, I hope you can't sleep at night. And I hope that that uh, that money becomes an albatross around your neck. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.